What is up everybody? This is John the Ultra Z coming at you with a special video. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Let's get into it. For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. So, I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time already. Unfortunately, due to certain restrictions, I haven't been able to travel as much as I want to. Now, I got to do something really special. You guys might be asking yourself this question, why in the heck is there a belt back there? This has to do with the unboxing, I promise. So last year, I was able to go to a very awesome pay-per-view event called All Out. And that's from a company called All Elite Wrestling. I delivered a couple of custom sneakers to a couple of young bucks. Their names are Matt and Nick Jackson. These guys were super surprised with some of the Jordans that I was uh, delivering to them. They were amped up. They were talking about their sneakers and so was Brandon Cutler, which is another wrestler from AEW that really enjoyed his sneakers. So I got in the process to meet these guys and I met Kenny Omega as well that same day. And he told me how he liked the shoes and how he wanted a pair as well. So today, I'm going to show you that pair. Let's go ahead and unbox those custom Kenny Omega Air Jordan 1s. This shoe was based off of the Kenny Omega cleaner character in combination with the 1985 Air Jordan 1 patterns. Now with these shoes, man, this is metallic. That mudguard and the side panels feature that cracked metallic, which gives it that vintage classic look. If you see that toe box, nice smooth suede article. And those black laces with that padded tongue and that tongue tag just makes it look so crisp and clean. And if you turn it to its lateral side, that Nike check, that old school 1985 big classic Nike check with that red leather on there, man, that gives it a pop. And on the side panel, you could see that gorgeous wing logo. If you turn it to the back, you could see that nice high heel counter with the Kenny Omega logo and that slim fit. And as far as that lining goes, these shoes fit like a glove. And the bottoms on these feature that classic red outsole, bringing it all together. Very, very great detail on this. I have to say, working on these was an adventure. To get the details and the patterns just right onto this and recreate them just for the specific type of shoe, it wasn't easy, but the results are just so great. But let's not stop there. Let's go ahead and have some on-foot shots of these. Now, if we want to compare these to the 1985 Air Jordan 1s, we're in luck. Because I just happened to have one of those. Man, oh man. Look at these sneakers. Peter Moore, Tinker Hatfield, and Bruce Kilgore are legends. These guys, along with other members of the Nike team, helped roll out the very first mass-produced Air Jordan 1 sneakers on April 1st of 1985 for a retail price of $64.99. Most of the first runs were produced in the Republic of Korea. It's pretty obvious to tell that this leather is extremely high quality and all had specific numbers stamped on the inside lining to tell you which production pair you received. But even so, when these shoes first released, a lot of pairs sat on shelves, even going into clearance racks. But it wasn't until 1994, when the first retros were introduced, that a lot of customers appreciated the Air Jordan 1, 
probably because at the time, Jordan was already making big money moves and was extremely successful. Now these shoes can go anywhere in the thousands on sites like eBay or StockX. And it's no wonder, I mean look at the details of this 1985 OG Air Jordan 1 Chicago. The classic black Nike check, the white quarter and toe cap. The stitching on these is superb. Look at the red accents of the side panels and on the mudguard, simply amazing. The red rubber outsole, the bold Air Jordan 1 wings logo, the black collar and lining and that fresh Air Jordan 1 red tongue tag completely ahead of its time. These shoes were originally packaged with the black and white laces. And finally, the lasting board, which was the OG way of lasting shoes, this is super durable. And let's not forget the original hang tag. When you see these sneakers side by side, game over. Side by side, look at this, beautiful amazing detail on both of these kicks. I have to say these are one of my favorite Air Jordan 1 customs that I've completely recreated from scratch. But that begs the question, what's your favorite Air Jordan 1 collab or custom of all time? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, if you'd like to see the original shoes I deconstructed to make these, go ahead and check out our other video where we chopped up some Air Jordan 1 1985 navy metallics. I hope you liked this video and if you want to keep updated on my adventures, hit the subscribe button. And remember, be ultra safe and be ultra smart. Ciao for now.